to Medical Dialogues, your nail club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Priyanka Ahuja and today I will be discussing an interesting study of the effects of oxygen exposure compared to room air during labour on umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen. Providing supplemental oxygen during labour has been recommended since 1960s. Hospitals typically supply oxygen to regulate the baby's heart rate and prevent complications. A recent study assesses the effect of maternal long duration high concentration oxygen administration during labor on umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen. Study is published in American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Study found that high concentration of oxygen administration during labor did not affect either the umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen or fetal heart rate pattern distribution but did cause a deterioration of the umbilical cord arterial pH at birth. A randomized clinical trial was conducted between January 2021 and October 2021 in the obstetrics wards of three tertiary teaching hospitals in Beijing, China. Women undergoing the latent phase of labor with no existing medical conditions or obstetric complications who were admitted for delivery were eligible. These women who met the inclusion criteria with Category 1 fetal heart rate tracings in labor were randomized in a 1 is to 1 ratio to oxygen or room air. The oxygen group received 10 litres of oxygen per minute by tight-fitting simple face mask until delivery. The room air group received room air only without a face mask. The primary outcome was the umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen. A total of 661 women were screened. 140 participants with Category 1 fetal heart rate tracings were enrolled and 17 randomized to oxygen or room air. A total of 135 women with validate paired umbilical cord venous and arterial gases were included in the umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen and arterial pH analysis. The duration of oxygen exposure was about 322 plus minus 147 minutes. There were no differences between the oxygen and room air groups in the umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen or the proportion of participants with category 2 fetal heart rate tracings 81.4% versus 78.6%. However, the umbilical cord arterial pH was significantly lower in the oxygen group than in the room air group. Authors concluded that maternal long duration high concentration oxygen administration during labor did not affect either the umbilical cord venous partial pressure of oxygen or fetal heart rate pattern distribution but resulted in a deterioration of the umbilical cord arterial pH at birth. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for further updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.